wanted to let you guys know something, and um, I've been pondering this for about the last week. Uh, and I didn't really know if I wanted to do it or not. But after talking to Carrie and some of my family, uh, I've now decided that I am going to proceed. I'm suing everybody. Everyone. I'm suing the quote-unquote victim uh, for the affidavit she gave. It is lies. Just like she lied in 2009. She lied again now. And this time as an adult, it's defamatory. And I'm going to prove it. I'm suing her parents for their actions, which not a lot of people know about yet, but you will. I'm suing her grandparents. I plan on suing Tim Hinton personally for his actions regarding the affidavit. I plan on suing Tim Hinton's law firm. I plan on suing the Rolling Stones, not the band, but the magazine, for their defamatory article written against me. I plan on suing Will Somers personally. He was the journalist uh, for the Daily Beast. I plan on suing the Daily Beast for their article. I plan on su suing Reuters for their article. I plan on suing Will Berg for his continuous slander, defamation, and libel against me. And, uh, see we'll see if they could all win I have after this weekend now several other uh, attorneys that are in the process now of filing these defamation suits against all of the the names that have written those articles and everybody else that was complicit in this attempted victory for the Scranton Times. They wanted to play some games and they wanted to really try to back me into a corner and shut me down and uh, obviously win the lawsuit that I currently have against the Times in court and uh, they overstepped. They broke some laws, and I have the proof of all of it. So, I have the means to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on these filings. There's a chance that some of them will be tossed out of court. There's a chance that some of them will issue retractions and apologies for what they said about me. And there's a chance that I win some. Regardless, I want you guys to know something. This was the point that I either put up or shut up, right? So I either continue to fight this and pull out all the stops and make my case heard against everyone or I pull the lawsuit against the times lick my wounds and live to fight another day many of you know that I've been saying for as long as we've been talking about this that the, the girl in this case that this whole case centers around her and I have been friends uh, for a number of years in, 
this is not something that I really wanted to do to her. Um, I guess I'm just used to trying to take the high road and give people the benefit of the doubt and you know all that stuff I, I always try to do that but after she said what she said in this affidavit I wonder if she considers me a friend because the attacks that I've gotten uh, since that affidavit became public are the type of attacks that no one ever wants to deal with in their entire life. And, you know, I could stand there and take the arrows and the, and the, and the swords and still keep doing what I'm doing. But there's, and this is why I've decided uh, that I do have to go all out and literally go after everyone. There's going to be a point in the future, if I let this all go now and I drop this now and I don't pursue these lawsuits that I need to pursue to clear my name once and for all, if I don't pursue these and do all of this, there's going to be a day in the future that one of my sons are going to be at their baseball game. They're going to be up to bat, right? Let's say they're 10, 11, 12 years old, Little League, whatever. And some jackass from the stands is going to yell, your dad's a pedophile. It's going to happen. One day... Jocelyn or Kennedy, one of Carrie's girls, are going to be up on stage in a dance competition or graduating from school in one of their schools, and we're all going to be in that auditorium, and someone's going to yell, your stepdad's a pedophile, to Jocelyn or to Kennedy. So before anybody out there starts to criticize me for what's about to happen I want you to think about what would happen if I don't do this now those are only a couple examples but there's many more and these are the things that I have to consider before I decide if this is the right move or not very well aware I could take those hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees that I'm going to have to pay um, and, you know, give out that money to more family and families in need. I know that. And that was one thing that was stopping me for the last few days as well. But there's another family in need right now, and it's mine. I have no limit to the amount of money that I would spend to avoid those future scenarios for myself and my family. These people need to be punished for the scheme that they tried to pull over. And everyone needs to know that what's been happening here revolving around this case is not all right. And everyone needs to know that if you do it, if you write an article, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna sue. And you could defend yourself in court. That's, you're right. But it's not going to stop me. 
I'm going to have better detectives. I'm going to have better attorneys. I'm going to have more of a reason to win. And I'm going to win. I'm still going to win the Scranton Times lawsuit. And I'm still going to going to win all of the other lawsuits about all, from all of the other articles that were recently written by all of these media outlets. I'm going to win the article against the girl, uh, this lawsuit against the girl. She lied, and I'm going to make her say that she lied. And it breaks my heart to have to do this, but unfortunately, she made her choice, and I have to make mine. And a lot of people that are very, very close to me are depending upon me to make the right choice so that the rest of our lives do not end up with the same treatment we've been receiving for the last couple couple weeks. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to comment too much on an active lawsuit until they get filed and until all the people that are uh, going to be in, in going to be served get served. Once those lawsuits are of public record, uh, I will obviously share them with everybody. This is not something that. You know, last year when we raised money to um, for legal fees to sue the Scranton Times, I didn't have the money available at the time to do so, and I needed to do so right away. Uh, so we held fundraisers and stuff like that. I don't need any of those fundraisers now. Uh, I have I have the means. And it's a shame that I have to do this, but I hope you all understand that this is something that I have to do. I can't, I can't let these people for the rest of my life tell lies about me. I'm not gonna let it happen. I would spend, as I said earlier today in a post, half a million dollars if it meant I was able to clear my name and that might be what I end up spending at the end of all of this and guess what a guilty man doesn't spend a half a million dollars to try to clear his name if he knows he's guilty no one would do that I know that I didn't do what I'm accused of and what I'm being slandered with. I know that because I was there and I know what happened. And anybody else that wants to speculate on the validity of the claims that are being made by the Strand Times and these other publications and the girl in this case, then you better be prepared to prove it. And if you can't prove it, I'm going to win. I really want to apologize to everybody because I know this is a massive distraction that shouldn't be in our purview. However, this is what happens when you're over the target. This is what happens when you start telling a lot of truths about a lot of things and ruffling a lot of feathers. The mainstream media and even the alt media, especially the left-wing media, they will do whatever is necessary to silence you. And I think this was their last hurrah. I 
think they thought, Oof, we're really going to crush him now. And he's never going to come back from this. Nice stop, bro. Not only am I going to come back from it, even if it takes years, I will prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that what I claimed in my defamation lawsuit against the Times is accurate. And if it means that I have to spend hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars in legal fees to get that done, that is exactly what I've decided that I'm going to do. This is my life we're talking about. This is the rest of my life. This is my children's lives. And this is my family's lives. And I am not going to allow my name and their name to be destroyed like this. So, if anybody else wants to hop on board, now's the time. Meaning if you want to write something else about me that's that's incorrect and, and defamatory and slanderous and whatever else, get it out now because I'd like to file all of these in one big, one fell swoop. Uh, make it a little easier for me. But if you want to do it later on, you can do that too. Uh, it's up to you, but I'm not, uh, I'm not going to take this shit. And, uh... All of y'all will see me in court very soon.